Hey guys, I have another video to record, and it's mainly about my a special feature I added. And this is and the option the standard stuff for a bath, the second floor quarter, first floor quarter, and the bathrooms and the bedrooms and stuff like that are standard. But an options are second floor, and another standard thing is the attic, of course. And then another, another one of those, in another one of those options. Another now the options. The skylight up here, right where my finger is, that's an option. The exterior light right here is an option. And if this one's been here, it would have all been covered in. And another option is the extended attic part over here. This could have came without it. Could have just went straight down. And then the options were the are the couple stoves. And the standard thing is the emergency exit. I'll show you this is what this is about. <laughs> Stuff like that. And this is this is one of the rarest features ever seen in an extended house. And that's the, your emergency exit. That's a lot of the houses people build, kids build, don't have these. Need to forget them out, so. but mine isn't. This is standard of the, of the house that I built, an emergency exit. If there's one room, you don't really need an emergency exit, but if there are multiple rooms like this one, I like to put an emergency exit in there. And and then an another thing I put in there. And then another thing I added in there with the standard are the two are the two remote are the two trailer lights in there. You can see it. But I can here. And I'll show ya. I don't have a switch hooked up right now. But I do have a, I do have a battery somewhere in my, in my building supplies. I do have a small nine volt battery. And I'm finding my fingers. And I'll hook them up both up. They're all, they're hooked up together. And all we do is, okay, this is a minus. Okay. And how they work. Yes, yeah, so there would be a stair going the the switch is out in the garage. Like that. Try to get it to work. And we could see. Trying to get it. Hold on. There's these there's two negatives hooked together. And now would have been hooked to some alligator clips and then I would have but I disconnected them so they wouldn't get ruined when I added the stuff on there. These are standard too in my house. These trailer lights. Just trying to get them wired up. Okay, this is plus and this is negative right here. And how they work is there's on the end here there will be a switch, which is in the grass. There we are, they're in there. And how they work is, there'd be two alligator clips hooked to there. And what I did is I wired, I wired them up together. I did hide the wiring. So, in there you can't really see the wiring. They're right between the two floors. And then, I, and this is right on the back here. That's where, right on the back, I don't know if we can see that, but there's a the cover. There's a, a cover I made. Those are what houses the second floor emergency light. Those will turn on if the power outage or somebody outside sees a fire or something, they'll turn them lights on using a switch, a regular toggle switch, not the toggle switch in there. Now, we're just going to try. Hooking these two together, and then on the back here, because that means there's some type of an emergency. There's two wire negative wires because they're not hooked together in series. 
there are there's two wires because okay I don't know if you can see that but I got two trailer lights hooked up and all these do since the, this I have the title switch to somewhere and I wanna I wanna it's like I said it's not done yet I still have work to do get the walls up stuff like that. Okay, and then there, you can't really see them, can't really see them, but there's, there's, the two trailer lights hooked together. There's the two lights, or trailer lights, those are ran off a 9 volt battery. I'm going to put it in the sunlight so you can see those are 9 volt battery and stuff. I'm going to put a tail. I'm going to right right for here my hands are. Right where my hands are. I don't know if you can see them but right where the, my finger is pointing that's where you know, the light for the trailer is going to hook into the battery for it. And then above it will be the trailer, the switch which will turn them on. Anyway, what I didn't want to do is I wanted to show you my emergency exit if I got done. It's just activating right now. And it's designed to activate if the house it's not it's designed to activate if your house catches fire or something like that. And how it works is the it ran and these come with these there's options on this that you can get without but you have to put a lot more effort into it. It's just like manual steering in the car. You, still, you have to put too much effort, a lot of effort on a steering wheel. It's basically the same principle. Huh. And stuff. And this one has the power assisted security. Um, this, is a not, this is an automatic power assisted emergency door. And how it works is if, if the house is, if the house is going to like crumble down on you, the shaking of there will activate it and activate it, but it won't activate necessarily if you don't have the access if you don't have the emergency feature that the feature on it. I'm try to see if I put it up there without activating. There, I put it up here for the lighter. And now I'll, I put it up here. Right there. And there's the two lights you saw earlier and in there. And how the, and the lights work and stuff like that. I'll show you those in a minute too. Those are the light electrical features. Those are standard, except this light up here. Those are standard. And EE. If you're wondering what EE stands for, it stands for emergency exit. And this is a this is a unique door. You can buy. It has an it's an automatic power assisted door. You may be saying, what's an automatic power assisted emergency door? Well, you see. Um, and now, this is an automatic. It, it, it's, ca it's called by chip bag. A chip bag is up there in that other place and pushes it downward. And the, uh, that's the automatic part. Now, the power assisted part is rubber bands. That's what causes it to go down flat fast. Now, if you were to have a house... Now... If you were to have, if you did have a power assisted or automatic door, the bag wouldn't be there. This would be a lot shorter. This would be a, a different. Let me find you an example of the clip would look like. Okay. They would be this way. There would be one of these, not one of those that are up there. And then how this will work is, and this is power assisted. This part here would be there either, or this part of there. And it's designed so it can disconnect the rubber bands to have it to to do that. The rubber bands are the assisted part, just like a spring assisted knife. Only it's not a spring; it's a rubber bands right here. These will open it up. And and if you if the bag bail functions, you put have to you can still open it up with the spring assisted part, but you have to put a lot more effort onto it to blow it open. But I'm gonna use. I'm going to show you what happens, how fast it goes down. But actually, I'll, I think I'll use the bag part first. And this is this. I 
right there. See how it goes down fast? It's designed to do that. Now, see? That was the automatic part. And in real life, it took me a lot more effort, but, but in real life, that would be hooked to a pump with a switch inside there or turn it on with a light on top. That, it was, so a pump would actually inflate it. Not my, not your breath, your air, not your lungs. Like I was blowing in there hard enough. We like there'd be a pump, a hole hooked to these straws, hooked to a pump underneath, an uh, air pump blow, that would blow this up. Now, if that were the male function, and it, that if that were the male function, you could still open it up. And if spring assistant the male function too, you still open it up. It doesn't interfere. It just makes stuff a lot easier. And you can see right there, there's what happens. And there's the part. Then you just slide. Gee. Now, if for example, if this male functioned and you had, you had to put a lot more pressure on it, then it would go like this. It goes pretty fast due to the rubber bands underneath. That helps you. And stuff. And then you could then it would just slide down and stuff, and it would fall on the and it would land on the ground. And I don't know if you saw this, but this here flew off. That's that's what holds it. That helps seal it. Along with these up here. And you see, it's good job. Try to I don't have a blown air pump. A air pump that would hook to it. You can do. And I could hook a switch in there. Now, if you didn't have a, if you didn't have your automatic feature, which is the this part down here, and you just had that, it would just go down like, here, let me show you. I'll show you how, how fast it'd go down without your automatic. I'm going to take off this draw, off these, pretend these valve bands were never here. I'll show you how fast it'd go down. It doesn't go, it still, it goes like the way it was it, but it doesn't, but it doesn't go fast and as intense, so, let me just show you. If you didn't have that, Watch this. It's it goes fast, but not fast. Really fast, like you would if you had that. But now, if you you have your existing mechanism, which is underneath here, it's like a spring-assisted knife almost because it just goes up fast. And it, but if you didn't have your auto, now if one of these parts would malfunction, you still could open it up, but you would have to almost use your hands. A lot more force uh, as a because of the assisting mechanism which helps go down on your automatic system which blows it open for you then you have and then now you just open this up using now watch how fast it goes down it goes faster because there's a lot of tension put on those little bands in the data and that and stuff like that but if you were to have this if you were not to have that and you just had those, you would have to use your hands to push it open, not your, not, there would be no bag there, there'd just be sealed like up there, it'd be sealed, if you didn't have that. But if you had this, and, and I'll show you what happens, I'm going to put the camera down, I'm going to put everything back inside, and this is designed to act in really, in, in threats, like, if you're helping with both the cloth, the shaking of the stuff above it, or if it's like a torn, Fake and both will activate the system for you automatically without the bag. The bag will still stay in place. So pretend you're in a serious and threat of your health class, and I'm going to shake it and stuff. I'm going to grab, let me put this back up there. And if it doesn't, and now if your health starts shaking, really not bad enough to activate, it won't activate, or you would, and if, but if it fails to activate, like I'm going to put it right up here. Right there. All right. I'm gonna show you what happens. Now I'm gonna put this up here, and then your your needle act automatically activate without the bag installed. 
how it will work is now I'm going to shake it using this. See? It's activated now. That's how now if it's I'm going to show you that's intense activation. Without that does not need the bag to be and in, in activated. You don't ask you and now I'm gonna do a minor test where the bag no where it's no longer needed. Then if that then it won't activate because you don't need it doesn't sense it sense it the force it senses it. Now I'm gonna put it down here. I'm gonna put these back up here and then what you heard hit the ground a little bit after activating was the pop off cover on top that holds that prevents water from entering. That's what you hear before. That was that thud you heard a little bit. That's what you thud heard a little bit. That what you heard a thud like that. Was that wasn't that? Or it, it, it was probably this right up here. Now, and if you can see how it works, it'll, it'll how it works is it'll. Now I'm gonna do a minor test. This is a test that does not need it activating. Okay, so I'm gonna shake it. I'm, I'm going to shake it like this. Okay. This is a minor test. It's not needing activate, so it won't shake. So it doesn't shake. But now, if you shake it like this, see? That's both pretty fast. And the bag is not even needed. But now, if this, on a, this is called a matter, the force actually activates it. And that's supposed to help you. That's supposed to help you if it's in a minor, like there's a, there's a, like if it's minor, like somebody, like if this were to, just if this were to collapse, if it were to one of the brackets underneath that would that were designed to hold, if that were to collapse on the back, probably the force would probably be enough to activate, but this but to help you get out of the house but another feature that I don't want ever you need to use is an automatic which is a crumple zone this is this is a crumple zone has a crumple zone built in the middle it that that shatters on impact that gives you something to get out of it's a crumple zone so if the house were to somehow collapse like if like if somebody were to hit it and it would fall on the ground and crumble, this would probably this would this would either not crumble or it would, it would pop open because these would break in half and I would have to redo the it literally. But now I'm going to do another sample. This is an autom This is a manual. This is what it would look like if you were hit by something that wasn't severe enough to activate, like somebody hitting this. Thing like this, do, 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 then activate because it's not that fast. Now, if you were to have a bag like, now if you have, were to have like this, I'm gonna do it up here this time. See? It blew. And what you heard it was a louder bang, that was this hitting the ground. And, but you don't. That, you see, the bag was not needed to activate. This is supposed to help. And then I didn't put, it's not designed to crumble now. I'm going to do that later. It's not designed to crumble. Now, these would crumble off. There will be a little flip down the center to help prevent, help it crumble when, so people just jump off. Stuff. So, there will be warning signs on there because this will fall down fast enough to, like if I, my hands were here. It wouldn't do that fast, but and that could that could hurt somebody, not literally, but somebody small enough was under there, like Genesis Quail, for example, then it could kill them. So that that so I don't like anything on no nothing supposed to be under here. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching.